Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today, we looked at the desktop browser market share server results done by StatCounter for the month of October. And now we're going to have a quick look at the desktop Windows version market share worldwide. And there's a couple of interesting things happening this month. Now, first of all, the sixth place, Windows 8, and the first place, Windows 10, are the only two versions of Windows that have actually decreased. Every other version, Windows 11, 7, 8.1, and XP, have all increased uh, in their market share. And obviously, Windows 7, 8.1, and XP are all unsupported OSs. So that's quite interesting. Now, just focusing, first of all, on Windows 10. Windows 10 has decreased from 69.35% in October to 68% in November. And I think a reason why Windows 10's market share, the Windows 10 market share is dipping, is because of the Moment 4 feature updates and Windows 11 23H2 feature updates that have rolled out over the last couple of months where obviously because of brand new features, a lot of people are moving over to Windows 11. So that could be a possible reason. Now focusing on Windows 11, in October was 26.14%, 26.66%. So uh, almost 27% of uh, desktop users are using Windows 11 as their main OS when it comes to the different Windows versions available. And then moving on to Windows 7, has moved up from 3.03% to 3.16%. So that's interesting. Um, Windows 7 is one of those OSs, just like Windows XP, that just doesn't seem to be kind of disappearing into the sunset. Um, still quite avid users use Windows 7, and even in some parts of the world, Windows XP is still used mainly in organizations and enterprises. Windows 8.1 has moved up, I believe it or not, from 0.7% to 1.34%. So that's a nice increase for Windows 8.1. Windows XP moved up again the second month in a row from 0.33% to 0.45%. And then Windows 8 has dropped from 0.32% to 0.29% from October to November. So some interesting, interesting things going on. Uh, mainly here yeah, between Windows 10 and Windows 11, because if we move to the graph and the chart, yeah, you can see over the last two, three months, Windows 10 is kind of nose diving down. Um, although they're still over 64%, uh, we can see though that this may decrease over the next coming months. Here yeah, we can see Windows 11 in this uh, blue line over the last two, three months is steadily increasing. And as I always say with these survey results, it's going to be interesting to see where these actually cross over, the date and time that will actually take place. And then yeah, at the bottom, um, although we have had a couple of um, minor improvements and decreases and increase, increases of percentages with the unsupported versions of Windows, um, yeah, you can see on the chart, um, over the last better part of the year, nothing really major when it comes to major ups and downs. So everything yeah, at the bottom kind of just... Uh, steady and stagnated as we can see. But nonetheless, that's the stat counter, global stat server results, uh, comparing the desktop Windows versions market share between October and November. And as I always say with these survey results done by different companies, um, although they do give us a general idea, they will never be 100% accurate. So just always keep that in mind. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.